This had better be a matter of life or death. Of course it is. Which dress do I wear? The red one or the blue one? And if you pick the wrong one, you'll die? No, silly. I just need to look my best. Why? You never did before. Well, today I need to. There's a new teacher for the History of Warlocks class, and he's supposed to be a real hunk. Oh, really? <laughs> then you must look your best for your new hunky teacher. Now for the most important meal of the day. All the research shows you do better in class after a good breakfast. My research says never eat anything bigger than you are. Oh no! Class is starting and I'm not done with my makeup! Aw, oh, you're getting pretty for your new witch school teacher. Why not wait until after your normal classes? Brina? <gasps> Harvey? Ah. You want to do something today after school? Uh, yeah, Harvey. Sounds great. You come into class? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Great. I'll save you a seat. <laughs> Sorry, Salem. Don't mention it. Let this new teacher like me. Well, well, look who decided to show up. You're late. I may be late, but I beat the teacher here. That's because I was avoidably detained by a locker. Hmm. Salem? You're teaching the History of Warlocks class? Who else? When you've got nine lives, you see a lot of history. Now, I'll just pass out your textbooks. You said the new teacher was supposed to be a real hunk. I said he was a real animal. Take your seats. We've got a lot of warlock history to cover. This class will be difficult, but I think you'll find it very rewarding. My own humble research has traced the first recorded instance of warlockery to Nunk the Neanderthal. Now, of course, whether Nunk was a true warlock or just a gifted amateur is open to debate. My personal opinion is... a smaller textbook or a bigger backpack. Uh, hi, Sabrina. Oh, uh, hi, Harvey. I, uh, well, you wanna... I mean, I was gonna see if you wanted to get your movie this afternoon. But gee, looks like you got a ton of homework. Literally. There, hmm. who needs it? I'd love to go to the movies with you, Harvey. Uh, but what about your homework? No problem. I've got one class where I'm pretty sure the teacher will cut me some slack. Following the Coven Convention of Constantinople in 786, the standard book of incantations was, well, standardized. Basic incantations, for example, turning your enemies into frogs, have remained unchanged. But can anyone tell me who recast the levitation spell? Leo the Lightweight in 1036, just before the first warlock flight to the moon. Very good, Cassandra. Maybe you should try answering a few questions, Sabrina. Sure, as soon as you ask me where to get the best burger in town. Sabrina, how do you ever expect to become a full-fledged witch if you don't know your magical roots? If I need to know something, I always just ask you. <laughs> All this ancient history mumbo-jumbo just isn't relevant anymore. We'll see how relevant it is when Hilda and Zelda see your report card. Oh, come on, Salem. You're not really going to be hard on me. I'm family. All right, class, that's it for today. For tomorrow's homework, I want you to read the next two chapters in your textbook. That's not so bad. Two whole chapters? You can stop brown-nosing now, Cassandra. I'm not the teacher. 
I'm not brown nosing. This stuff is really cool. Really? Of course, it could be that warlock history is more fun for me because all of the great warlocks in history were my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes won't focus anymore. Maybe you need glasses. What I need is a better class of friend. What in the world do you mean? Look, if you're someone's friend, right? Right. And you found yourself teaching that friend in a class. But I'm too young to teach. <sighs> if you were old enough. Hmm, okay. If I was old enough. So you were teaching that friend, and that friend was having kind of a bad day. What kind of a bad day? The regular kind of bad day. The kind kids have at school. Okay, okay, the regular kind of bad day. <sighs> and you were the teacher. Wouldn't you cut that friend some slack? What kind of slack? School kind of slack. Grades. Wouldn't you go easy on her grades? I don't know. It depends on how bad she messed up. What a day. It's good to be home. I need a little veg time. In the news tonight, you've got homework. Give me a break. Sorry, Sabrina, but goofing off has been preempted. Great. 157 channels and nothing to watch. Why don't you read a good book? Like your textbook. We've only had two days of class and you're already two days behind. It's not like you're going to flunk me or anything. I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. Yeah, right. Like you're really going to bite the hand that feeds you kibble. Just quit stalling and get up to your room and hit the books. <sighs> what good is having your pet for a teacher if you can't be the teacher's pet? I'm not your pet. I just live here. History. Yuck. But if Salem's going to be catty about it, I guess I better study. Hmm. Hello? Brina, it's me, Maritza. I just heard you had a movie date with Harvey. Tell me everything. Well, I don't know. Did you hold hands? No, but I touched his hand when we were sharing popcorn. Oh, that is so cool. All right, class, clear your desks for a pop quiz. If you read your assignments, you shouldn't have any problem. Uh-oh. You have 10 minutes. Now, begin. Time's up. Already? Now, Sabrina. Loser. Suck up. <clears throat> I've finished grading your quizzes. A plus, Cassandra. Very good work. You do me proud. And that doesn't stand for fantastic. Ah! Sabrina, I'm afraid we need to talk. I'm going to give you one more chance, Sabrina, to prove that you're serious about this class. I want you to outline the next chapter in the textbook. The whole chapter? At least then, maybe you'll read it. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe Salem is doing this to me. Salem. You don't make Cassandra do any extra work. Extra work? You haven't done any work. Gee, Salem, when I found out you were my teacher, I thought we'd have lots of fun. But now you're treating Cassandra, of all people, like she's your favorite. Normally, I'd rather have a bad case of fleas than have anything to do with Cassandra, but I'm her teacher. She pays attention in class and does her homework. I'd treat you the same way if you were doing as well in class. Wow. That's something to look forward to. You treat me just like Cassandra. I'm going to my room to do my homework. Maybe I'm being too hard on her. But Sabrina can be a great witch if she tries. I just want her to be her best. 
Maybe that's when I should have told her. Let's see. Chapter 4. In 1129, there occurred the famous confrontation between Wild Bard of Weisenheimer and the Black Hound of Bavaria. Now there's a yawn for you. Hello? Oh, hi, Maritza. Drop whatever you're doing, Sabrina. The whole gang's going to the mall. The mall? Gee, I'd love to go. But I've got a lot of homework. That's my Brina. Harvey's going to be there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Huh? I really wanted Sabrina to do well in this class. Maybe she'd be better off with a different teacher. I know just the right outfit to impress Harvey. <laughs> All right, Maul, here I come. <gasps> no, I can't let Salem down again. He didn't have to give me another chance, but he did. Hi, Maritza. Look, I'm sorry, but I really can't go to the mall. I really gotta study tonight. Nice to see you decided to show up for class. I had to stay up late, but go ahead. Ask me anything you want about Wild Bard of Weisenheimer and how he defeated the Black Hound of Bavaria in 1129. I can even spell Weisenheimer. Aunt Enchantra? Where's Salem? Because of problems with the class, Salem has resigned as your teacher and gone to the Warlock's retirement home in the Netherworld. And while I look for a new teacher, your homework continues. Doubled. Now run along and report to the library. I can't believe Salem retired. Well, maybe if you hadn't goofed off in class all the time. Who would have thought that furball would actually be a good teacher? I hate to admit it, but maybe Cassandra's right. I guess I tried to take advantage of Salem. I let him down. Well, there's only one thing to do about it. Go to the Netherworld and get Salem to come back! There's so many. I don't know which path to take. Well, oh. that would depend on where you want to go, wouldn't it? Please, I need to get to the Warlock's retirement home. You can go this way, or you can go that way. What's the fastest way to get there? Mm, don't know, but you could try that way. Thanks. Gotta run. Hmm, I wonder if I should have told her that way goes through the gray area. Hmm, oh well, she should have asked. So, old timer, what do you do for fun around here? Well, today is Wednesday. That means green gelatin for dessert. I can barely contain my excitement. Ow, oh, 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 ow. Hey, watch where you drive that thing. Hey, you say something, Sonny? <sighs> Gee, I hope that sign knew what he was talking about. I don't like the looks of this place. <laughs> Who's there? I had to ask. Why 
couldn't have stumbled across the catatonic canary of Khartoum. I just need a little time to get out of here. I got it! For my lapses to atone, toss this mud a monster bone! Have you forgotten? Cat magic doesn't work very well against a magical dog. It's a species thing. Say, aren't you the wild bard of Weisenheimer? There's a picture of you in my textbook. Of course, your beard was shorter then. Hard to find a good barber since the Black Plague. Can you do something? You're the one who sent the hound to the gray area in the first place. I'm retired. You youngsters handle it. I'm a thousand years old, can't do everything. Too much excitement around here. Maybe I'll take a nap before lunch. I guess this means no green gelatin for dessert today. Lime or kiwi? Hey. Who cares? And your point is... Yikes! <laughs> you could substitute lime gelatin for I've knew. It was in one of the footnotes. You read the footnotes? <laughs> they were kind of cool. This way to the cafeteria. <laughs> Kiwi, kiwi, kiwi. Lime! Got it! What are you doing? It's not lunchtime yet, and no cats on the buffet! <laughs> you were saying? Never mind. Hope I can remember the spell without my outline. Well, here goes. Wiggle, jiggle, swing and sway. Grow and flow and take him away! I'm sorry I thought I could just coast through your class, Salem. I know you really did have to treat me like any other student. And now that I've actually studied the history of warlocks, well, you know, it's kind of fun and useful. So won't you come back and teach the class, please? I mean, even Cassandra thinks you're a great teacher. And give up all this in a heartbeat. Oh, Salem, I love you. I don't think I'm ready to retire after all. You said Salem was coming back. That's what he told me. If he doesn't, I'm not eating that mackerel. Sorry I'm late, class. But I had to go get a homework assignment that had been misplaced. My outline! A plus. Now. Who can tell me about the main amendments to the witch's bylaws passed by the Coven Congress of Carpathia in 1488? Oh, me, me, pick me! That's my Sabrina.
Cookie Jar!